Hey guys, in Matthew 18, it talks about a parable that Jesus gave that said that the kingdom of heaven was like a master who wanted to settle his debts. And so he brings in all of his servants, everyone that owes him money. And basically this one came is like, please master, work with me, you know, like, cause he's going to throw them in jail, sell them off, you know, like to pay back the, the debt. And you know, the master is merciful and says, your debts are forgiven. That same servant goes and then ends up going to somebody that owes him money. And whenever that person says, oh, I can't pay you back, but I, I, will, I will just work. Let me, let me work with you and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do it all, right? And that servant says, no, 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 no. You're going to go to jail until you can pay me back all that you owe. And everyone is just, how, how could you do that? This other debt that you owed the master was so great. And yet for such a smaller amount of debt, you have taken this person and you put them in jail. And so he goes back, he has to, the master calls him forward whenever he hears about this. And he says, look, you know, like you should have forgiven that debt, just like I forgave your debt. But now you're going to end up being handed over to the jailers and tortured until you can pay back all that you owe. And the thing about that I want to really share is there's sometimes whenever that we, that we think about our right, like whenever somebody gets you know, like it does us wrong, we have a right to be upset. We have a right to be sad. And you know, like we have a right to be de depressed because look at what life has done. And we've got all these rights to do stuff, but that doesn't mean that we ought to. Look, the the servant that was there, you know, that, I mean, the, the, the other one owed him money. He had a right to that money that was owed to him. But that doesn't mean that he ought to. And in the same way, I think sometimes uh, we get so caught up in the things that have happened to us, the people that have wronged us, that sometimes we sit in a place where we are upset because, and we, we think that we have a right to be upset, So, and we, we do have a right to be upset, so we just kind of sit there. And we allow ourselves to miss out on all the things that God wants to do. We end up tormenting ourselves because we stay in one spot. But the Bible also says that we enter into his gates with thanksgiving and in his courts with praise. And look, I don't know what wrong you've gone through. We've all gone through some where people have done us wrong, where we're sad because we thought that things, you know, were, were different than they were and people have treated us bad and we got all this. But whenever you enter into his courts with thanksgiving, whenever you enter into his praise, right? Then all of a sudden, the, the, your thoughts are not on yourself anymore. They're now on him and the things that he's done. If that same servant would have been thinking about the great debt that he no longer had to pay, maybe he wouldn't have tried to hold it against the other servant. So that's all. I just want to encourage you, you know, like, let's move. Let's not be satisfied or with our rights. Let's think about what we ought to do. Thanks for taking a minute.